on top in Detroit. The kick is away. Ford Field the site, and it will be TNC's Jaywalk with the ball first. Let's get to know Rival a little better. Trayvon Jordan, 20 years old, Belleville, Michigan native. $9,000 in career earnings, including being the Madden 18 Lions Club champion TD. He is hungry to get back on top in Detroit. He is very hungry. Talked to him last night. He's very motivated for this moment. Said his loss last year to Radiant in the finals. He watched film on that, watched it over and over. He's ready for the moment, trying to become a two-time Lions champion. Take a look at it. Rivals key to the game against Jay Wall. He needs to regain control of his city. Yeah, that's what he said. This is his city, his team. He's sick of people coming in, taking it from him. He wants to regain power here and be a two-time champion. On the flip side, somebody who's making his name is one of the great young stars in the game, Madden. Jay Wall. Jay Wallach, 19 years old, from Pawtucket, Massachusetts. 9,500 in career earnings. He's the Madden 19 Patriots Club champion. And uh, TD, uh, he's a, a currently going to Northeastern University, but taking a semester off. And it's worked out pretty well for him getting here to the Lions Club final. Yeah, it has. You know, a very smart kid at Northeastern, but he took the semester off to lock in. He was a two-time Patriots. Uh, he did the Patriots Club two times in a row, lost last year online. He wanted to completely switch to his favorite team. He said, I had enough of that. I'm in the Lions Club. He's trying to make it his club. Taking a look at his key to the game, that TNC dominance needs to show. Yeah, that crew has been unstoppable. There's one spot left. Will it be another TNC member? We're gonna have a bunch of TNC members potentially as we head into the final 32 in the end of January. They are six and three so far. Here in the club championships. It will be J-Wall with the ball first. TD, what can we expect from J-Wall's offense? Yeah, we're going to expect an offensive juggernaut. This guy is one of the best trips tight end players in the world. He uses phenomenal spacing, route concepts, route combos. He, he adjusts on the fly as well. Um, yeah, you're going to see him in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook, and it's going to be primarily trips Hi, tight end. And how about, how about the Raiders? How about Not their four-time? club champion. He just went off side because I think he picked the wrong player. Looking something. forward to watching Rival and J-Wall playing. What about you guys? Hashtag Madden Club Championship and TD, I know I'm excited for this game. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I think most of the community is excited for this game. They thought this was the best matchup of the day, so it's perfect that it goes on as the main event. It's a big time game. It's got that big time feel. I'm ready to get into it. First and five off the encroachment penalty. It is Jay Wall. With who else but Brett Favre at quarterback? Reggie Bush on the left hip. Tyree Kill, Allworth. Looks like Terry McLaurin out there at wide receiver. And Favre will take off. And TD, the, the ebb and flow of the Mutt rosters is very interesting because just two weeks ago, we saw Chad Johnson on every roster at wide receiver, and we're not really seeing him out there as much anymore. Yeah, that's a great point. Everyone kind of replaced him with this with this uh, Lance Allworth. You know, he, he has the same qualities. You know, you have that route tech ability, you have the slot apprentice ability on him. You can move him around. So it seems like everyone's sticking with McLaurin, but everyone kind of replaced uh, Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson, with this Lance Allworth. Second down to one. How about that? We are 25 seconds into the game, TD. Rival already only has one timeout. Yeah, just insane. You saw J Wall, he accepted the penalty too, as well uh, on that first down, turned into first and five, and he was able to pick up the first down from there. Now, second and one, so giving free yards to J Wall, something you definitely don't want to do. And how, we're just having a timeout fest right now. <laughs> feeling each other out you know it takes a couple of minutes get the groove going see what you can set up your adjustments and your personnel tries to run the ball on second and one and loses a yard third and two now for Jay wall great inside zone defense right there you see uh, rival in that 335 wide formation it looks like see what Jay wall can cook up Let's go! Come on! A wide open Tyree oh, Kill! That's why you play the Nothing lead! Nothing but great grabs in front of Come him! On. Hail to the house! One stop and it's Glitchy, over. glitchy, 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 boy. Oh, man, that looked like he completely turned the defensive back to go to the opposite side of the field. <laughs> J-Wall cooking it up. One of the easiest oh, touchdowns loud, you'll ever see. Loud. I can't wait to get into the replay of that. Wow. One stop, baby. One stop, baby.
seven, nothing. Play this one more time. How did Tyreek get so open? Yeah, he had him on a streak, and he got the defender to completely come off him and go to the other side of the field, and, and that's a free touchdown for Jay Wall, and he's fired up about it. I'm pretty sure, TD, I can make that read. I think I got that one. Yeah, I think anyone can make that read, and that just shows, man, these TNC guys. They always got some glitches up their sleeve. Goes right to it, first play or first first uh, drive, and that's that. you couldn't ask for a better start. That's If you get a free streak touchdown... I mean, he'll take that all the time. Now we're going to see Rival here on offense. He is in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. I expect to see a lot of gun bunts from him. And uh, he labs with some great players as well. He's a lab with Kobo, Colin, Ninja. So he's he's very prepared as well. Safe to say uh, those TNC guys kind of nerdy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't stop, baby. <laughs> if you want to put it that way. I, mean, I am. You heard me. Fuck. D-Croft. Uh, you heard me, Fancy. You heard me, Civil. I called you out. Y'all bunch of nerds. That's why you're six and three so far here in the in the clubs. Yeah, imagine seven, seven guys, Nick, in the final thirty-two potentially. First and ten. Allen right tackle side. It's McLaurin trying to get sticky, but he'll only pick up boys? three. The tackle boys. Yeah, he audibles over to that bunch tight end, and he went to that PA boot over. We saw that play from Canes earlier. Pretty much every single play. Um, that's what's so good about Seattle's playbook. Like I said earlier, you know, you got the bunch, but you also have the bunch tight end, and you have a little bit of trips. Pink! Pink! Left side, Ooh. touchdown, DRC! With the absolute robbery! Going the other way in Detroit end is game, Jay end Wall. This game, end this game. Flood this game. Flood this game. Dominique Rogers, Crow Marty. He has the one step ahead ability, he has the acrobat ability. That's why he's one of the best corners. Tried to throw the out row, and DRC completely bagged that thing. J-Wall in business. Far. Okay. Okay. Right side. I see it. Nice throw. I see That's it. all worth once again. How about that passing line? Two for two, 85 yards and a tutty. That's a, it's pretty efficient. Yeah, very efficient. That's that all worth again. Slant to the sidelines. Wide open. Laser. Arm on first down, looking left side, it's Tyreek Hill to the 20 yard line. It's gonna bring the yards per catch average down. Final spot in the club championship can be filled with the winner of this game. And we will know the full 32 player field. Farm, oh, absolutely screamed out. Look at Jeremy Chin, a little loop and blitz. Yeah, that was really nice by Arrive. A little turbo rush off the edge with that Jeremy Chin. He's able to get in there and force an intentional grounding, force Jay Wall into a difficult third and 16. Great defense there from Rival. Allworth in the slot. Hill wide left, McLaurin wide right. Bush on the left hip of Brett Favre. Thank you. He might have him again. He might have him again. Tyreek Hill wide open. Nobody around him practicing social distancing to the end zone. I'll say it again. Glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. This man might be cheating out here. He's getting wide open streak touchdowns. If you're a rival, you have to adjust to this. You have to see what's going on. You can't be playing this man-to-man -man coverage, and you got to switch it up, get a zone out there, because Jay Wall is just getting free touchdowns left and right. You can't allow that in a big game like this. Uh, one more time. This isn't a replay, it's just slightly closer. Yeah, he did it to the right side. Now he does it to the left side. Rival's gonna get out of that man-to-man -man coverage. He's just Jay Wall's just gonna <laughs> he's just gonna glitch him down the field. Oh, give me that. Oh, I gotta get that. I just uh, I just checked into uh, my Discord and they're not they're not happy that I called them nerds. <laughs> Let me just type in the y'all nerds. Hey, when when you're doing stuff like this, what Jay Wall's doing right now, you got to put it in the nerd category. But that's what that you love to see it. I mean, that's what Madden can be about. So that's why that's why there's that's why there's such thing as crews in Madden, Nick, because these guys get into the laboratory, they're finding the glitches in the game, they're finding what works, and when you can bring it out in a, in a big game like this, and it pays off, that's what it's all about. Here's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is. Uh, <laughs> It's, all I'm saying is, I was a nerd in high school, 
I'm still pretty much a nerd now. You know? I know what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Rival! Hey, God. anything you can do, I can throw just as much open Tyree Kill with no one around him! We've seen three touchdowns, and all three have just been completely wide open. What is going on out here? Mesh post, the post route wide open for Rival in the back of the end zone. Way to fight back. At some point, there's got to be some coverage in the secondary. I'm just throwing it out there. At some point, somebody's got to cover Tyree Kill because he has three wide open touchdowns, two for J Wall, one for Rivals. We take a look at this one more time, TD. How do he get so open? Yeah, just a post slant combo, just a blown coverage, honestly, by J Wall. Mesh post gets wide open. <laughs> Anytime you leave Tyree Kill wide open like that, it's never a good thing. Barb on first down. No one was open. There was nobody wide open on that play, and Favre will pick up a first down with his legs. Yeah, finally, but look, <laughs> Rival basically putting 10 guys in coverage right there. No spy on the field. Jay Wall, with the great pocket presence he has, steps up, picks up a first down with his quarterback. Favre left side. He'll get to the 44-yard line. Second down and five. It's me, Hill. Take out the first down to the 48 yard line. So, yeah, we got a good chess match going on right now. So, we've seen Jay Wall use that motion to get those wide open touchdowns. So, Rival starting to put some zones, backing off the coverage a little bit. All he does, Jay Wall makes the adjustment, just puts a little flat out there, throws it to him, able to convert for the first down. First down at 10. 14 to 7 score. You like offense, you don't like this game so far. Six underneath. It's one of the things I love about the game plan from J Wall, he's really using that underneath pass to soften up the defense and pick his time to take that shot. Yeah, exactly. You know, he, he's very patient with his progressions. He takes what you give him, and then all of a sudden he'll just hit you over the top just like this. Let's go. Bingo. Ah, Let's go. Terry McClure, that could have been a touchdown if he stayed on his feet, but a diving catch. From the Washington football team sensation, Terry McLaurin. This guy, Jay Wall, is just a surgeon out there. Eight for eight. He's almost at 200 yards passing already. He's just doing anything he wants out there. It's a rival's defense. And, and rival's got to dig deep. He's got to try to find a way to get a stop. Come on, let's go, Red. Let's go, Red. Fight, Red. Fight, Red. Get up, Red. Red, Red, Red is fighting. Red is fighting. He got five. Yeah, a little, little RPO bubble right there. A little dive up the middle. Reggie Bush has been fighting all day. He's been fighting all tournament long in the seven weeks we've been doing this. Seems like Reggie Bush has been falling forward, in, making plays. See if Jay Wall can punch it in. Get in, Mike. Get in, Mike. That's, it's really nice that Jay Wall is on a first name basis with all of his players. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's important for a coach. Back to Allstott. He's into the end zone. Touchdown for Jay Wall. Does it on the air. Does it on the ground. Too easy. As he'll extend his lead back to two scores. 321 to go in the first half. Way too easy right now for Jay Wall. Has not thrown an incompletion yet. 21 points. And we're still three minutes away from halftime. Uh, he's looked phenomenal on offense. Kick is up. It's good. 20. One to seven. What does Rival have to respond? Three twenty-one to go, and yeah, talk about Rival, former Lions Club champion. T, this isn't just about winning a club again. It's not about the money. It's about pride. Oh, without a doubt. You know when you're. He's been a finalist four times now. He's won the club once. He's a super, Ooh, super Lions round. fan. His favorite player of the Lions all time is Calvin Johnson. Uh, you know, this is a guy that, you know, he's prepared. He's actually doing Madden full time right now. So he's putting in about seven, eight hours a day. So he's been on the grind. He's looking forward to pay off. But this is a big drive for the 20-year-old. Got to get down the field. Keep yourself in this game.
Catlin at left side. To the 38 yard line. Rival going to work in that gun bunch. It's got Chris Cooley out there. It's got Terry McLaurin, Tyreek Hill, Allworth. The same suspects, the usual suspects. Looking down the field, Ooh. tight coverage, but what a throw. Almost able to complete that one. Lucky that's not picked off going the other way. Tried to throw it on Champ Bailey, who also has that one-step ahead ability. We saw DRC with it earlier get that pick. Champ Bailey, tough to throw on these corners that J-Wall has there. And we saw it last game with Poison in that double A-gap. J-Wall in the same defense, very difficult to beat. Second and 10, 236 and counting. The crosser, it's not there. Well covered downfield, a three, now four man rush. Now might be five. He's looking for any sort of route bounce. This play has lasted absolutely I mean, forever. And finally, field. he'll take and off and pick up a first down at the 48 yard line. <laughs> that was a wild play. It was a cover two shell. It looked like Rival had like a million things open, but it was just oh all God. scary throw because of the defenders in front of him. Finally, he just takes off. Jay Wall just playing absolute coverage. Looked like nine or 10 guys in coverage there. And Rival's able to scramble though and pick up that first down. So great pocket, great patience, able to convert for a first. Gary midfield. Josh Allen. Sometimes the football concept doesn't have to be complicated. Just put him on an out route. Soft coverage, great throw. Yeah, I like it too right there by Rival. He went with more of a quick snap, got to the line quickly, hiked the ball. J-Wall wasn't set up. His coverage wasn't ready. Threw to the out route one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I, I want to see more of that from Rival. Use a little tempo. C try to catch J-Wall off guard because he's making a lot of adjustments on defense. And Bush puts him on a slant across the middle. It's well covered until the last moment when just a little touch pass. Just a little bit of flavor over the top, down to the eight yard line, Rivals in business. Beautiful design by Rival. He had a flat route over there to bring down any flat zones. The slant got right behind it. Put a little touch on it, just a tad, a little lob over the top to the slant. Clicks on, Reggie Bush gets down the field. I like it. Uh, Rival is adjusting with J-Wall on the fly here. Starting to motion out his running back a little bit, get a little freestylish, but it's paying off. Out of first and goal. Move from that single back into the shotgun. He'll hand it to AP. Hold the three. Hold the three. I'm just saying, Adrian Peterson, as somebody who's watched a lot of Lions games, Adrian Peterson's still got some juice in him. Oh, he does. He, he's got to be the best probably goal line back in the league still, right? I mean, that's the guy, you know, he's not going to catch too many passes. So when you're down the, inside the five, give AP the ball and let him pound his way in there. Hold the three. Hold the three. Hold the three. Come on, boys. Peterson will pick up three. By the way, how in what what sort of magic potion does Frank Gore have to keep playing as a running back? Yeah, it's insane. Age. It's insane how long he's lasted. I also think Adam Gase, you know, kind of has a crush on him. Still continues to give him the ball <laughs> over some come other on, guys. Come on, Chin. Let's go, Chin. Yeah. Jeremy Hold Chin three, right boys. up the middle. Hit him on the chin. That's Jay big. Wall with a gap shoot. That's big time defense from Jay Wall and for rival. I think you got to go to the air right there. Three runs and you're down 14. I know it's tough inside the 10 yard line, but you gotta be aggressive and try to score a touchdown there. That's a big defensive stand from, from J Wall. Rival will get the ball to start the second half, but J Wall with a minute two on the clock and one timeout can work his way down the field and put some points on the board. We know how dangerous J Wall is on offense. Doesn't have any timeout, so it will be tough, but a minute and two is definitely plenty of time for him. I know he's gonna be aggressive. He's definitely looking to go down the field. Is he going to be go able Hester. to find Tyreek Hill open go again? Hester. Ooh, oh. Devin Hester right up the middle. Great return to the 34-yard line. Yeah, that puts him right in business as we take a look at this tweet from Siv, the man. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Siv. TNC versus 818 giving me major Lakers Celtics vibes from back in the day. Back in the day, Civil is 20 years old. He cannot talk about back in the day. No, I will not stand for this. <laughs> No. Good defense right there. Yeah, Civil. Yeah, Civil's 20 years old. Is he talking Celtics, Lakers, Rivals? Back Maybe he's in talk, the day. He, he could be talking 
mid 2000s when you know when my Celtics won a championship in 08. I don't know. Back but... in the day. <laughs> you can't say back in the day at 20 years old. Second and 10. A little, little delay streak right there. Gets a couple, third and five. Yeah, you're okay, too, if your rival giving that up. I mean, that's kind of useless at this point with no timeouts. Clock's ticking. If rival can get a stop here, he might call a timeout, but he has to call it now. Ooh, that hurts. Not able to get anything downfield here to end the half. Third down and five. More importantly, he's at the 40-yard line. It's about 20 yards, more than 20 yards to have a chance at a field goal. Again, looks underneath, finds Tyreek Hill. Fourth and three. J-Wall just may, might take one more shot downfield, see if he can't find a miracle. He's going to try to hit Terry over the top. Just gets the snap off. One second left. Looking for Terry. It's well covered, though. And it is incomplete. 21 to 10 at the half. Rival is getting the ball to start the second half, TD. And the way this game started, with two wide open touchdowns for J Wall, you almost felt like Rival was already out of the game, but he fought back really well. J-Wall, he has looked unstoppable on offense, but that last sequence right there from Rival was big to not force J-Wall into any points to be able to hold him to nothing, and he does get the ball coming in the second half. 21-10, to J-Wall with the lead. Plenty of time left in this game as we crown our final club champion for January. As we've mentioned so often, the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award recognizes an NFL player for his excellence on and off the field. This year, the Lions are proud to announce defensive end Trey Flowers as their nominee. In April 2019, Flowers founded Flowers of the Future Foundation, establishing community engagement, promoting physical fitness, developing positive values, and engaging in philanthropic endeavors that aid in the overall betterment of the youth in an effort to plant seeds that continuously grow. And a big congratulations to all the Walter Mayton Man of the Year Award nominees. So great to see that. Big shout out. I know somebody who lives in Detroit heard a lot about what Trey Flowers is doing. It's so cool to see all these guys involved in making the world a better place. First down and 10. Rival getting screamed at, trying to throw that out route. Yeah, J Wall dials it up there, and Rival had the right play call. He had that out route one on one. It just the, the double A gap came in too fast, came off the edge. And this is a big drive for Rival here to get back in the ball game. You're down 11, plenty of time here. See what he got, because you got to get seven, possibly potentially go for two. I did get a great tip. I got I got to shout him out. Shout out to my guy, C. Stedding. Um, J. Wall made his bed for the show, which is, it's it sometimes happens, but that means he's serious about this game. Yeah, that means he's locked in. He wants to look professional. He's ready. He's looking good so far. Second and 10. Now looking for that playmaker. He's going to throw it late and an absolute beam feet and bounds to the 41 yard line for the former USC Trojan. That playmaker has been huge. And I have a feeling that that playmaker is going to be very valuable as we head into January as well. But what a phenomenal dot right there. Playmakers the slant up the field behind the zones and throws a dot to the sideline. Sorry, I was trying to see what's on J Wall's pillow. I was trying to, I was trying to decipher the pillowcase. It's tough in the small camp. Second and twenty. Not sure either. <laughs> Just trying to figure it out. Good tackle. Hands that off to Bush. Good tackle. defense from J Wall. Right, well, plenty of time left. Only down by eleven. I was just pulling up. I, was, I wanted to look at the NFL standings. Remember, the uh, the the matchups in the divisional round are based on the standings 
And uh, as they stand right now, it looks like, and there's still a little bit of shuffling to do. The NFC North surprisingly close. A couple wins could shift this either way. Come on, come on. But as it stands right now, the winner of this game would take on Chiggs, and then we get a uh, stiff and poison matchup uh, as of right now. All, all subject to change, but TD, this, this division is very interesting to me. I like it. I like this division a lot. You know, if J Wall were to hang on, I think he probably would be the favorite. But man, I I, I thought uh, Poison looked really good. I, I think Chiggs is a good player as well. Stiff, we know, has all yeah. the experience. So I think it's a very open division. Cliff, let's go! Oh, Whoa! Let's go. That was a t gonna be a tough play to make with Scary Terry underneath. Need 11, got three. J Wall gets the turnover. Yeah, Rival looks very upset. He went to that bunch tight end, uh, play action, crossing roll play, nothing doing. J Wall with a big hit, and that's the stop that J Wall needed. Now, if you're J Wall, you probably use some of this clock. We know that J Wall does not like to run the ball, but I would expect to see a couple runs called here in this third quarter. You know, it was interesting that one. I think he was looking for that that delay fade that's been so good at a bunch. He looked for it. It was just perfectly covered by J Wall's user. Yeah, J Wall has so many reps in. He probably knows that the delay fade is coming. That delay fade has gotten a lot of steam lately. It's become very popular. A lot of guys love going to it. J Wall was prepared for it and it paid off. 21 to 10. Final club game of the day. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us all day long and on every Tuesday over the last seven weeks. J Wall oh, might have him over the top. McLaurin dropped it. I like this thing that I I don't know if someone's sleeping in J Wall's house, but if you can tell every time he wants to yell, it's sort of like a whisper yell. I'm loving it. He's being courteous to the other people in the house. Get it, Chris. Chris Cooley with the catch. Go, Chris. Stop and go action. Go, Chris. He'll go out of bounds at the 45. Just a just a laser show going on right now by J Wall. I mean, even the on the post route before that, that should have been a big completion. He got unfortunate. It was a user rush by Rubble, Rival off the edge. He missed the sack. J Wall stepped up, great pocket, and threw a laser, but just dropped it. And now he's going back to the ground game to use the clock. You know, TD. The interesting part is we've had some really, really great mutt content come out over the last couple of weeks. Guys, you're not seeing in these games because they didn't make them before the rosters were submitted. But guys like Sean Taylor, guys like the Zero Chill players, what do you? Our, I think the rosters when we get to January are going to look completely different. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be crucial, you know, building that team when it comes to comes to January. I'm going to be, you know, up to date on my mutt content, getting ready for it because the team they will change a lot. We saw that Sean. Ooh, we see a nice oh, user oh. rush here. But yeah, Kendall Nick, Fuller. to your point. Yeah, Sean Taylor, in my opinion, one of the best players to use in Madden every year. He's one of the best users that you can lurk with. We also seen a Deion Sanders receiver come out. There's been a lot of great items. We see this Lance Allworth that's just been dominating all day. But yeah, I think when we come late January, we're going to see even more players come out. The late, great Washington football team defender Sean Taylor from the U. So many Washington fans out there. So many football fans. I've been seeing him out there every Sunday. Gone way too soon. Fourth and short. Trips tight end, J Wall's going for it. We don't kick field goals in TNC, is what he says. Hill in motion to the left side. Pressure on the right side, chin picked up, and that gives Tyree Kill enough time to pick up the first down. How tough is Hill to stop on a drag route? Oh, he's so fast. You just send him in motion, you get that little boost from the motion off the line. Just torches the man-to-man -man coverage. Jay Wall just has so many man beaters. And that was a big first down because now he can use all this clock. He can get out of the third quarter, up 11 potentially with a bigger lead. First down at 10. Jay Wall using a lot of this clock. He'll take it under a minute to go in the third quarter. Run vision. Run vision. I see the holes. I see them. I see them. He sees them, JD. All right, we got to take this. Gotta take this. Ah, he just has to blitz here. Just has he says to. he has to blitz here. Yeah, and he I think that's a good to. point. Rivals got to kind of get in desperation to. mode at this point. J Wall, I, I would expect him to run the ball again here. I think he should, but he's pretty aggressive, so he, he's expecting the blitz. Going to try to dot it. These are the drives that are the worst to play against. Long, methodical, surgical drives. How about Far? Picks up a first down. And he'll be able to take this 
to the fourth quarter. What a drive so far from Jay Wolf. Great pocket presence, steps up, steps left, takes off, picks up a first down. And Nick, we are one quarter away from setting the final 32. Is Lions legend Adrian Peterson still in? One to ten. He is. he is. Let's get it, AP. Let's get Jay Wall with the lead. Big stretch. Lions fan, it. you know he's going to give that ball to Adrian Peterson oh, or yeah. Reggie Bush. Oh, that was not the move. That was, that was bad. That was bad. Six carries, 14 yards for Bush. You know, Nick, I t when I talked to Jay Wall last night, too, I asked him, you know, you're from Massachusetts. How, why are you such a big Lions fan? Like, what's the story behind that? He said when he was 10 years old, he got into fantasy football, and Stafford and Calvin Johnson he loved. Like, they were on his team. He loves Calvin Johnson, so he just became the biggest uh, Lions fan from it. And ever since that day, it's been all Lions. He loves Matthew Stafford. Laser. Good game. Good game. Good game. Bye. All worth into the end zone touchdown for Jay Wall. See, that's weird. If I if if I became a fan of the team that I first played with in fantasy football, like who I had, I think I'd be a Saints fan because I'm pretty sure for the first four years of playing fantasy football, I had Marcus Colson on my team. Oh wow. Yeah, I, I thought you were gonna say like Aaron Brooks. You know, I, I, I don't know how old you are. <laughs> Just that's <kidding>. uncalled for. <laughs> Back in the day, like Civil would say, back in the day when I played Marcus Colston. Take a look at this touchdown one more time. From the other side of the field is Lance Allworth. Yeah, the MVP hey, of the good day. Game. Good game, good game, bye. Jay Wall says GG's in the chat. And Lance Allworth has been the king of the north today. I mean, that guy's making plays for everybody all over the field, just a slant route. And that probably put it away here, up 18. And Jay Wall's used all three timeouts. He's used all six. He used the first three in the first quarter, I think. And he used the, the yep. second half three, basically in all in the third quarter as well. He doesn't need them. Don't forget, stick around. We got Derwin James versus the world, presented by Oakley, coming up next. We're going to love a double dose of celebrity action. A little 2v2. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. We're going to have Juju Smith-Schuster. Saquon Barkley and Sterling Shepard on the sticks. Uh, TD, and here's the problem. I still think Derwin. I, I still got, I, you can't pick against Derwin, right? Oh, I agree, but, you know, 2v2 is a little different than just playing one-on-one. -on -one, so uh, Derwin's going to have to get his team uh, prepared because, you know, no one's as good as Derwin on the game. So 2v2 can be a little different, but I still like him to come out on top. First and 10. There's that out route once again for Rival. You know, and we, we saw Poison with that dominant win over, over Lord Kev. And that score might have been wider. But I feel like this performance, especially second half, has been more dominant from Jay Wolf. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think, yeah, I would say that's true because first half, Rival kind of hung in there. But yeah, to your point, second half, it's been all Jay Wall. He kind of just got that stop right out of the... Right out of the half, and then he used some clock. <laughs> wow, bad read right there. Should have been going the other way. Lol, that's when offense turns to defense. You're hoping your wide receiver is able to just swat that one away. Make up for my bad decision. Third and one. Handoff. Bush. He'll get the first down. Yeah, and Nick, we started the day with those two amazing games kind of coming down to the wire, especially that Bears game. Then we had the Packers. Last two games really have just been domination. Got the delay fake, and he's got cooling up to the 10, breaking a tackle, breaking another tackle, down to the four-yard line for Rival. Yeah, he's staying alive. Got to punch this in on this play, and, you you know, down 11 or 10 here. And probably going to need another an onside kick as well, but got to score as quickly as possible. Thank you. Pick. Get out of oh, there, what a lurk Get once there, again. Jeremy. The defense has been so good for Jay Wall. Jeremy Chin to the 18-yard line. And Jay Wall <sighs> knows he's going to be repping those Lions in, in January. Back on top as a club champion. Big time lurk from Jeremy Chin. Jay Wall with the defense in the second half. And he's a Lions club championship impressive performance. What a game from Jay Wall. TD, this is somebody, if you're if you're in the NFC, if you're in the NFC period, this is somebody you do not want to run into in January and February. 
Oh, definitely. I think he's got to be the favorite of the NFC North as we head into January. And definitely, you know, has a great chance to make a deep run in the Final 32. Dominant win over rival 28-10. to 10. Jay Wall takes it.